Dear friends and colleagues, let me introduce myself. I am Yulia Begina and I'm a year student at the Tverde Medical University. I'm going to be talking about Doctor of Medicine, Professor Yuri Zoltko, whose research and teaching are closely associated with our university. Professor Zoltko was an outstanding anatomist and the author of the first ever Atlas of Gross or Topographic Anatomy in the Soviet Union. Yuri Zoltko was born in 1923 in Yurislav. In 1931, he started school and in 1933, his family moved to Tashkent. At school, Yuri took an early interest in drawing and painting, but his passion had to be postponed for many years due to the outbreak of the Great Patriotic War in which he took part as battalion commander. In 1947, he became a student of Leningrad Dental Institute. It was during his studies at the Institute that his creativity was especially clearly manifested. And as I've already mentioned, he was always good at painting and drawing, and in his school years, he made reproductions of famous masterpieces. During his student time, the artistic interest flared up again. In addition to his passion for classical landscape paintings and regular business exhibitions, he resolved to use his talent in the context of the, his future profession. In order to better understand and memorize the material thought, he began to sketch preparations, supplement handwritten letters with his illustrations, fix all non standard cases with graphic sketches on paper. That unusual habit was immediately appreciated by his teachers who advised Yuri to focus on human anatomy. After getting his medical degree, he started to work at the Department of Gross Anatomy. In 1954, Leningrad Dental Institute was transferred to Kalinin, which is now Tver, and became Kalinin State Medical Institute. Part of the faculty came to Kalinin. The new institute provided new opportunities and new prospects. In addition to the Department of Dentistry, the Department of General Medicine was also open. Yuri Zolotko was among those who came to live and work in our city. In 1955 was the year when Yuri Zolotko defended his dissertations on arterial blood supply of the superficial of the superficial soft tissues of the face. According to his institute colleagues who published memoir about the important episodes of his life, members of the dissertation council were struck not only by the depth of the dissertation topic, but also the illustrations. They used to see well-written works in which drawings were made by professional artists. As a rule, they were not absolutely accurate from an anatomical point of view and therefore not so valuable. The illustrations and new result for the dissertations were performed by the author himself a person excellent in anatomy and were incomparable with what they had seen before. Yuri Zolotko was strongly advised to continue the work he had begun and start making an illustrated gross anatomy atlas. That interesting idea was supported by the head of the normal department, of the normal anatomy department, Professor Ivan Kudrin, who highly appreciated the prospects of the young researcher. After that blessing, Yuri Zolotko began long and painstaking work at the first atlas of gross human anatomy in the Soviet Union, which later determined his entire professional fate. The work of the first volume of the Atlas took Yuri Zolotko as much as eight years, from 1956 to 1963. It includes materials of the human head and neck. The uniqueness of the work lies primarily in the fact that the entire process of, prepar of preparing the publication from the beginning to the end was carried out by one person, and that's the, the author himself. He made preparations, dissected them layer by layer, made from preliminary sketches in color fencing drawings, took photos, prepared and edited text materials and captions to the drawings. As his colleagues testify he never had any assistance and did absolutely everything on his own. In 1964, the first volume of a topographic human anatomy prepared by Yuri Zotko was published. After detailed discussion of the section of tissues and cadaver material, he managed to accurately depict in color and convey the layered structure of variant of various anatomical areas of the human body. He presents 179 full colors illustration, including 12 exclusive schemes of variant anatomy in 10 photographs. The work of Yuri Zolotko was highly appreciated by the professional community of anatomists. The Atlas made a real sensation in the medical world and immediately became a reference book and must have not only for medical students, anatomists and gross anatomists, but also for practicing surgeons and above all dentists. Professor Sverkov suggested that the author should submit the published volume of the Atlas as a doctoral dissertation. So on February 21st in 1966, Yuri Zolotko defended his doctoral dissertation. In 1967, the second volume of the Atlas, Thorax, Abdomen, and Pelvis was published. In 1972, Professor Zolotko became head of the Department of Normal Anatomy at Kalinin Medical Institute. At the time, he was working on the third time, the third volume of the Atlas dedicated to the gross anatomy of the upper and lower extremities. Occasionally, due to his new responsibilities, the professor allowed his young colleague, Vladimir Kalinchenko, to join the process. Now, Vladimir Kalinchenko is his associate professor in the Department of Normal Anatomy, and he also shared his memories of Yuri Zolotko. Unfortunately, the life of outstanding anatomist and researcher tragically ended when he and his wife died in a car road accident on their way from Moscow to Kalinin. 
the third volume was published in 1976 after his death. He left behind a rich scientific legacy. The first three volume, Atlas of Topographic Human Anatomy in the History of the Soviet Union, a number of original scientific publications, and lots of drawings, visual aids, educational tables, and charts, which are now the subject of study for new generations of future doctors. Thank you for your attention.